In this episode of Learn to Fly Here, I'll show you how to draw a near perfect circle over the ground with an airplane. Turns around a point, which is what this maneuver is actually called, is a maneuver that student pilots are required to learn and possibly demonstrate on their FAA checkride. And I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to make them a little bit easier. Get your attention spans ready and about four minutes worth of popcorn, and let's do turns around a point. When doing turns around a point, just like an S turn, the maneuver is always started going downwind. On entry and exit of the maneuver, the airplane will be going the fastest speed over the ground. The goal of this maneuver is to fly a circle, not an oval, around that point. To do this, bank angle has to be adjusted based on the ground speed. The higher the ground speed, the steeper the bank. The lower the ground speed, the shallower the bank. In this scenario, the wind is out of the north, so we'll start the maneuver heading directly south. With that being said, the maneuver is going to start with the steepest bank. And on the downwind side, which is this side right here, as we come back around into the wind, we're going to end up with a shallower bank over here. And on the upwind side up here, a shallow bank will be continued and increase back to the steepest bank over the starting point. It's also important to note that when flying crosswind, the nose of the aircraft will be pointing into the wind slightly. At least one 360 degree turn needs to be completed and at a selected altitude between 600 and 1000 feet above ground level, maintain that altitude within 100 feet and airspeed plus or minus 10 knots. Maximum bank angle will be initiated over the road, right there. And prior to entering the maneuver, be sure to clear the area of obstacles and traffic. Don't stare at the point and be sure to divert attention inside and outside the aircraft. As the aircraft flies around the point, bank angle will slowly need to be reduced on the downwind side. And as the aircraft approaches the end of the first quarter of the turn, notice that we're not flying directly east. The nose of the aircraft is going to be pointing into the wind. And for reference, the winds at this altitude are 360 degrees at 20 knots. The ground speed is slowly decreasing as we turn into a direct headwind. But right now I'm looking ahead to the next quadrant and the tree line right here is what I'm aiming for and I'm going to shallow my bank to pull the airplane out to that point. Here's the aircraft approaches the road that you can see up in front of us right here. Ground speed will be the slowest and the slower we go the shallower our bank needs to be to maintain a constant turn radius. And as we cross the road right there I'm going to find another point about the same distance that's 90 degrees in front of us and adjust the bank angle to fly over that point which is going to be this area right here opposite of the downwind side where we started out with a steep bank and worked our way to shallow we're now on the upwind side where we started with a shallow bank over the road and we're slowly progressing to a steeper bank as the airplane passes over the road 270 degrees into the turn the nose of the airplane is crabbed into the wind this prevents the aircraft from being blown back towards the center of the circle making an oval as altitude is maintained plus or minus 100 feet and airspeed is maintained plus or minus 10 knots during the maneuver. As we approach the road at the end of the maneuver, we're going to increase our bank and have the steepest bank going over this road. And you can really tell how the ground speed is increasing. And smoothly rolling wings level as we cross over the road. Finding a point every 90 degrees makes the turns around a point a little bit easier. Always know where the wind is coming from and the faster your ground speed, the steeper the bank. Now let's quickly take a look at this same maneuver from above. The video is sped up three times. You can see the airplane on the bottom of the screen. Watch the speed of the airplane. With the video sped up, it's very easy to see the airplane slowing down as it goes into the wind where the shallowest bank would be required. I was just inside my aim point here. I should have started shallowing my bank a little bit sooner. And on the upwind side, the ground speed is slowly increasing as we move our way around the circle. At this point, also be looking at the aim point for the end of the maneuver. And as that ground speed increases, the bank angle increases as well until the completion of the maneuver. In case you missed the previous video on ground reference maneuvers, you can click up here and see a video on S turns. And last of all, we learned from mistakes. I made a mistake in this video. Comment below and let me know if you saw it. For more information on ground reference maneuvers, consult the FAA's Airplane Flying Handbook and go to Chapter 7. I'll put a link in the description. This is a free publication. And also don't forget to consult the ACS or Airman Certification Standards. As always, thanks for watching.